Well, hello there. In this video, we're going to add a magnificent top navigation onto our jQuery mobile template, and we're going to do so in less than 10 minutes. Let me see the time. Yep, we can do this. Less than 10 minutes. Are you ready? Then let's rock and roll. I'd like you to start off by going to demos.jQueryMobile.com and click on um, Navbar Widget, okay? Navbar Widget. And uh, I would like you to find a nice one. Now, I like this one here. I think that's kind of cool, right? So I'm going to view the page source if I can. Right, here we go. So I'm viewing the page source. And I'm going to look for that. Uh, add icons to navbar and footer. Here it is here, okay? And I'm going to copy the navbar thing. Do not worry about the footer div. We don't need that, right? So I'm going to open up public underscore jqm, right? And this is obviously our jQuery mobile template. And if we paste in here, right? Notice I have not copied the footer thing across, just the navbar stuff. That's all I'm needing. And if we save and refresh, you'll see that we have three wonderful buttons here on the top navigation. Now, I'm going to make this thing dynamic, okay? So let me just copy this for the moment. And I'm going to create a view file inside templates. And I'm going to call it uh, this new file. I'm going to call it top nav jqm.php okay that's the vibe and there we go so now on public jquery mobile right where that thing was appearing i'm going to echo out modules run templates draw now note the underscore at the start here right very important so i'm going to say draw top nav jqm and there we go, okay? That's going to be absolutely fantastic. Oh, one other thing actually. When we call this, I want to pass in the customer ID. We do have a customer ID that gets passed into this view file. It's going to be cool. Let's pass it in, okay? So, let's now open up templates. And we're going to create this function here. Uh, draw top nav jQuery mobile. Remember, it takes in a customer ID. Okay, so that's the vibe. Now, we're going to now build a big array that's going to contain everything we need to get those buttons all working, right? I'll make the font a little bit bigger, maybe. And I'm going to say top nav btns equals, and then I want you to do some square brackets and a semicolon, okay? And then I want you to space down a few, okay? And then we're going to indent a little bit. And each and every button is going to have its own square brackets. And it's going to have its own comma. So the vibe is, for each and every button, we're going to enter the stuff that's needed to draw the button. This will make more sense when you see me doing this. So let me just show you, right? The first one's going to say text is set to and it's going to be set to home okay now on that first button there's going to be an icon right so i'm going to say icon is set to and yes there is an icon called home that'll be fine okay the next one is going to be btn target url and that is going to be set to base url just like that okay so that's one button can you handle the vibe? That's one button. I want you to do five of these. So here we go. Two, three, four, five. And we're going to go through each of these. And we'll start just by focusing on the text, right? So the second button is going to have text that says login. The third button is going to have text that says account. The fourth one is going to have text that says contact. And the last one is going to have text that says basket. Okay, now if we look at the icons, we know that the first one's home, right? But the second one is going to have an icon called action, right? The third one is going to have an icon that's called user. The fourth one 
is going to have an icon phone and the last one is going to have an icon shop okay now as far as the target URLs go I'm not sure if you remember this but for login it's your account forward slash login right for the account page it's going to be your account forward slash welcome for the contact page, it's going to be your account, blah, 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 sorry, not your account, it's going to be base URL forward slash contact us. And for the basket, it's base URL and then cart, okay? So this big array here that we've just called top nav buttons, that contains all the information we need to draw the main top navigation buttons, okay? But remember, we have a customer ID and if this customer is logged in, for example, then there's no need to show them a login button. And if they're not logged in, then there's no point in showing them an account button. So check this out. I'm going to say if, and there's going to be two conditions with an and, right? And the, the first condition is if is numeric customer ID and customer ID is greater than zero. What does that mean? It means that the customer is logged in. And if the customer is logged in, we can unset top nav buttons one. Remember that an array starts at zero, so if we unset one, it's going to remove this one here, okay? Now, if that's not the case, then it means that the customer is not logged in. So there's no point in showing them the account button, right? Because they're not logged in. So in that case, I'm going to unset top nav buttons too. Okay, that's the vibe. Thank you very much indeed. So there we go. And that looks fantastic. So now I'm going to create a couple of variables that I'm going to pass into the view file. The first one is data current URL. And that's going to equal current URL PHP style. The next one is going to be data top nav buttons and that's going to equal top nav buttons, right? You knew that was going to come up, okay? No surprises there. Now I'm going to say this load view top nav JQM and passing in the data variable. So there we go. And thank you very much indeed. So now we can open up TopNav JQM and we are in very familiar PHP territory because we can now just do a for each loop. So for each TopNav BTNs, right? TopNav buttons as value. We don't need any of that key stuff. And I'm going to do a little if statement in here. I'm going to say if value btn target url is equivalent to current url remember we do have that variable then i'm going to say top btn css equals and i'm going to add in the css that makes the buttons go blue and there it is okay and if that's not the case then top button css is going to be empty okay now i'm going to break out of php and the idea is that the button will appear something like that. Okay, let me just indent here. That's looking good. And so at this point, it's just a case of going in here and adding in the variables. So the first one is value btn target URL. That's excellent. Then in here, we're going to have value uh, btn, no, hang on a second, value icon, sorry. Okay, so that's that. Now, I'll do this one on a new line just to make it look a bit better. So that's going to be value text, like so. And then finally, don't forget the CSS. That's going to kick in uh, around about here, actually, and it's going to be top button CSS like that. Okay, if you want, you can make, do a new line, doesn't matter. Whatever makes you feel good, that's okay with me. So if you save that and refresh the page, 
you'll see that we now have uh, <laughs> too many buttons actually. Let me take these two out and we'll refresh again. And you'll see that we now have some fantastic buttons. It's fully dynamic. It's all going to change and everything. And there you go. I don't think I made it in 10 minutes, but I think we were pretty close. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.